Hey guys, and welcome to my second tutorial, or third actually, uh, tutorial, so, on variables. So let's get this started. So let's create test 12. Wow, these tests are really starting to number up, you know. So uh, let's see here. Okay, so in the storyboard, let's now, today, we're going to use evaluate conditions to redirect the player. So let's check this out. So to use evaluate conditions to redirect the player, you type in a expression here and type in a frame here and then you type in a different frame here. So that's pretty much it. And you can also add different expressions for different frames. So let's get this started. So, for this example, I'm going to use colors. So, let's create a variable. No, wait. Uh, let's uh, let's just go over this first. So, um, we're gonna create a variable called color, and we'll select the one to be red, two to be green, and three to be blue. I'm just uh, taking notes here, so that you can select red, you select green, you select blue. So now I'm gonna create three frames here, and everyone's gonna have a define new variables command. Let me just do that real quick here. So here we'll create a variable called color. And since we chose red, it's going to be a 1. And for the green, I'm going to create a 2 here, because 2 is green. And color blue is 3. So now we got all these. And let's create a frame in the end here. And let's have, a, let's have the merge here. Uh, Proceed to another frame called number five. Also here. This is just to make the workflow work here. So in this we're gonna use evaluate conditions to redirect the player. Let's try this out. So if color equals one, then we're gonna have it go to a frame. If the color is 2, we're gonna go to that frame. And if the color is 3, we're gonna go to this frame. So let's try this out. And I don't think you can. Okay, you can. Uh, anyways, so now let's create all the three frames. Red. Hold on, guys. HTML color codes. Uh, I'm just going to go here. This is also a great tip to anyone working with Ace Attorney Online. You can go up to this website, select this, and you can click on this button, which will, and then you can paste the color right here. And look, it's red. So that's a great tip for anyone. And now let's create a little blue one. Blue. And let's create the color of red there, but we're gonna change it to blue. Look, now I have blue text, but that one's a bit dark, so I'm gonna select another one. Blue. This doesn't matter to the tutorial, I'm just... And green, of course, so let's select a green here. <coughs> Again, this is optional. Uh, yeah. Let's paste the color here. And boom, we got red, green, and blue. So now, we click on... Let me just set some proceed to another frames here. Uh, so it's going to be the end here. Uh, hold on, guys. So there we go. Um, so now we got red, green, and blue. 
Let's now set these in the evaluate conditions to redirect the player frame. So this one's gonna go to red because this is the colors again. This is one, two, three, and so eight. Then for green is nine, <coughs> and then for blue is ten. So let's try this out, guys. So now, hold on guys, so we're gonna select red, green or blue, let's try red, and that didn't work for some reason, let's see here, what's wrong, I honestly don't know, oh wait, that's because, yeah, I never defined them, or did I, yes I did, no, yo, I didn't, define them here sorry about that so if you select red you go to this one you select green you go to this one and if you go to four blue you know you go to four let's save and try that again so uh let's say oh no let's save select red red select green green select Blue. Blue. That was just a lame example, but that's how you use evaluate conditions to redirect the player. It's only great. You don't even have to select this one because you can do a failure frame ID, which is gonna redirect to 10, which is color 3. So now we, it's gonna give us the same results. See? So that was it for this tutorial. Join me next time and I'll show you how to randomize a number. Goodbye.